So this technique I'm showing you now is called tape resist, and there are a lot of different ways to do it. I am going for a fairly geometric pattern here, but you can also use tape by tearing it into ragged pieces. You can use tape a lot of different ways. And the basic design concept you have to get in your head when you're doing it is that everything under the tape will have only the second layer of glaze on it and everything that's not under the tape will have both the first and second layer of glaze. I really started out doing this taping process as a, as a, as a demo for my students who were interested in it and, and the truth is it is far too fuzzy for me to want to do it on a regular basis. I like to get glaze on pots in more of a hurry than this allows. But I have in my possession one of my favorite pots I ever made <laughs> that was done with this technique. So it's not that I don't like the results, it's that I don't really have the personality to put up with this fussiness. So with something like this, where only a small part of your pot is going to have a single coat and most of it will have a double coat of glaze, if you're glazing by dipping, you need to make sure that you go fairly quickly because two full coats of glaze depending on the glazes, can have a tendency to be put on too thick and have a tendency to run. Glazes that are in and of themselves quite stable, sometimes when combined with another glaze, can create problems. With my buckets of glaze in my studio, I keep them fairly thin so that, so that I and my students can do double coats.